right? <laughs> okay, so uh, Amber Story Chasing decided to go uh, from the East Coast all the way out to Colorado, uh, bolted across the country a couple weeks ago because it was too hot, too humid, too crowded on the East Coast. She was in Colorado for a uh, while, not that long actually, but the altitude and the smoky air from some of the fires and stuff like that were getting to her. So she decided to head back east again. She said she has business on the East Coast. Well, she stops off in St. Louis, the St. Louis area, and then she travels out over to Illinois. And, and what is, look, that did, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Where's this? What, what's that vehicle? I don't know, man. Story chasing Amber, huh? <laughs> that, that's not the Lisa Marie, is it? Uh, I, 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 maybe Elvis was there. No. Anyway, I don't know. It's certainly not her vehicle. Yes, yes, she gets, yes, that's who she gets to meet. Derek and his cats. There, and that has a nice little cook out there. Wow, wow. So, uh... Hanging out with the celebs there for Story Chasing Ember. You know, they always say that if you're trying to build your channel, uh, you know, one way to do that is to hang out with uh, other YouTubers that have more subscribers than you do and kind of the, then they'll they he may mention her in one of his future videos and then she'll uh, get some more subs from it and, and she'll obviously get some people more people to watch his videos and I mean, her videos because yeah so anyway yeah so all right so hanging out with the uh, big superstars there on uh, bottom of YouTube story chasing Amber on her way back east where it's pretty rainy and uh, humid always good stuff from rv miles this is a very good one about that glut of used rvs is on its way don't count on it there he is jason jason talks about what a lot of people are talking about right now they're holding off on buying an rv because they assume that there's going to be a glut of them on the market you know, with the pandemic, Jason says, you know, uh, a lot of people, you know, this this year and, and last year were, you know, can't fly. They, you know, didn't have their vaccinations. Uh, they were worried about traveling, you know, in airplanes and stuff like that. There were a lot of flights that were canceled. They didn't want to stay in hotels. You know, the, you know, the, the old fashioned way of camping I and mean, the old fashioned way of vacationing. So. They all went out and bought RVs. A big, you know, that is true. You look at all the RV sales are way up. There's shortages of them now. Some manufacturers have, you know, uh, uh, shortages up through 2022, 2022. And uh, <clears throat> so people are now thinking, Jason says, <laughs> well, Jason says that with the, uh, with the easing of the pandemic restrictions and uh, flights going back and people flying, uh, they, we're going back to the old days, the good old days where, you know, people wanted to, you know, fly on airplanes and go to other countries. We still can't do that too much yet. The Canadian-American border still ain't open for tourists yet. And he also says he don't, he don't know when that's going to happen. But there's a lot of talk now that since people are going back to the good old days, they may not need those campers much anymore, those RVs. So there's going to be a huge, giant glut of them. On the, you know, available for cheapo prices. Well, anyway, Jason says that, uh, you know, he, he actually kind of believed too that there would be eventually be a glut of RVs for sale. But he says the demand at campgrounds is still through the roof. They're crowded all summer, he says. Uh, and he also says that RV lots are empty. Now, he says you can drive by an RV lot and you'll see vehicles on the lot for sale. But if you, it's not what you want, right? If you're looking for a particular type of RV, you're going to have a real hard time finding it. So he said, uh, he said, uh, you know, there is no, you know, there is no uh, glut of RVs for sale yet, and it may not be for quite a while. He also says that there's still a lot of people that haven't gotten the vaccine, and they're still not ready to get on airplanes. And even though we do have these holiday surges of people flying like for the 4th of July and stuff and for Memorial Day um, there's still airplanes and aircraft are still seeing a slump in traffic so things are not back to normal again and uh, and uh, RV sales are you know still soaring and there will be no glut anytime soon at least that's what he thinks all right some really nice scenery in this one we got fender bunny there doing a tour of niagara falls and the maid of the mist boat ride wow 
Stunning, huh? Just stunning. All right, we got a fun video. <laughs> Hell no, man. I don't know. So Wanderlust Estates there camping out with his brother there in Idaho. He's doing some work there. And uh, James is doing some work there for uh, some company there. And he's making some money while he's on the road there. Anyway, I don't know, man. This is a, this is a weird one. He is uh, going out with his brother, they're driving around the streets, uh, the roads down there, and the uh, you know, and then all of a sudden they kind of hear a thumping sound, and they turn around and they realized uh, the brother who was driving uh, hit a deer, a, a little deer, and uh, I don't, know. It's just they're kind of like uh, I don't know, they should have shed some tears. I don't know, there they, there were no tears shed, but it was kind of like oh, this is <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Ah, oh, oh, we hit it there. Ah. Anyway, anyway. So anyway, we get to see uh, some more stuff that uh, James is doing there. He, uh, they were going to do some kayaking, but the river level was too low because of the drought out west, and of course the new weather forecast for the west for everything pretty much all the way from Idaho down to Arizona. Lots more heat and dry coming for the next uh, part of. Uh, what is it for the middle of July? So uh, watch out for that. Anyway, James looks like he's having a good time. Uh, maybe they had a venison dinner. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But he seems like he's really having a good time there uh, in between the doctor's appointments and the work, hanging out with the brother. Now we got Camion's man David there continuing to work on building out his, uh, remodeling, I guess, his... Uh, his ambulance there with uh, the heater and the AC cabinet and stuff like that. Uh, we got Deborah Dickinson hanging out with Robert there in Idaho and Wyoming. So a lot of the folks now are <clears throat> obviously heading up to Colorado, Idaho, Wyoming and stuff where it's a little bit cooler. Although, again, if you look at the weather maps right now, the West Coast, that whole western chunk of the country is going to be pretty darn hot for the next couple weeks. Uh, Maxwell's minibus Mary is working on, again, her blue bus, her blue schoolie, and uh, cabinets, tackling the cabinets. Uh, what do we got? We got Ed. We got Ed there. Ed, you know, the Nomad Ranch Dressing Channel. He is uh, training the pack rats. He's training them to uh, protect the compound. I think he's all alone there right now, isn't he? I think he said everybody skedaddled and... Uh, so he's got plenty of time on his hands. More stuff from Dave's RV life as he is uh, traveling around central PA doing a lot of exploration here. We got Klerski de Crepa. Klerski is there in his, look, he's giving us every everything he can possibly tell us about uh, the Portland area and uh, why this beautiful, look, relatively new Safeway has been uh, completely uh, fenced off and is abandoned. What's going on with that? Turns out that there was some sort of a roof collapse there. So, anyway. Uh, it's a good one here. You know, it's kind of the uh, British version of Steve Wallace. Uh, TA Outdoors, 24 hours in a bit in a pit bushcraft shelter using a doing a dugout. Okay, he did a dugout, dug out a whole area there, and is camping out in this uh, makeshift bush, bushcraft shelter. Okay, yeah. So I like to see Steve Wallace do this too, but somehow go, go behind a Home Depot there in, in Ontario and, and do that. Can you do it, Steve? <laughs> TA Outdoors, great channel there. 1.89 million subs. Oh, Camper Carol is hanging out with the bread trucker guy and Wandering Yimmy. They were, I think they're all in Colorado now, aren't they? Hmm. We got Kevin and uh, Felix continuing to drive around that uh, area of New Mexico where the uh, prepper shack is. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and that's about it. That's all I'm going to talk about today. I know you've got a busy day. <laughs> so go out and seize the day, okay? Hey, thank you so much for watching. It is the 9th of July twenty. 21. Uh, don't forget every Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Eastern, our happy hour call-in show uh, every Saturday right here. If it's, if it's Saturday, it's Saturday. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll chat with you later, Vlog Under. <laughs>